Simon YouTube and welcome back to Theme Deck Corner. Today we are looking at the Ocean's core theme deck which is based around Kyogre from Primal Clash. Kyogre is the 130 base HP water type Pokemon with Spring Tides, one colorless, one water energy, which is going to do 30 damage times the number of heads you get until you get a Tails, and it's got the main attack, Ocean Cyclone. Three water energy, one colorless, it's going to do 80 damage and 10 to each of our opponent's benched Pokemon. Think of it as like a giant wave coming over our opponent's Pokemon. I like it, kind of cool. Now, most theme decks are two colors. This one being fire and water, I can easily tell you without a doubt the fire type Pokemon in this deck are. We have Combusken, 80 HP, fire type, stage one, with uh, quick attack and spiral kick. Quick attack has a max damage of 40 for one energy, where spiral kick has a max damage of 30 for two. That's not very good. So I really don't want to warrant any attention to these guys. Our other fire type in the deck is Vulpix. 60 HP, basic type, has roar. I can switch our opponent's active with uh, one of his or her benched, and not. 10 damage. Not really something I want to set up. So, fire types, not necessary. Just don't need them. What we do need is Whizcash. Whizcash, 110 HP. It's a stage 1 water type Pokemon with the. Uh, I guess it's the ability Alpha Growth. When you attach an energy from your hand to this Pokemon, you can attach an additional energy, which is really good because its attacks actually cost quite a bit. Uh, water Gun. One water, two colorless, 40 damage. I know it doesn't seem like it stacks very well, but if I can get alpha growth off pretty quickly, that's actually not that bad. Even better, earthquake, two water, two colorless, 120 damage, which is insane in this format, especially because it's on a stage one. Whizcash is gonna be awesome. Uh, this attack unfortunately does 20 damage to each of our bench Pokemon, but there is a card in this deck that helps negate that. Moving on, we do have Milotic Stage 1, 110 HP, Water Type Pokemon. Sparkling Ripples it's, is its ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may put a card from your discard pile into your hand. So, they got rid of one of our Kyogres, or they got an evolution card before we were allowed to play it. We can get it back with Sparkling Ripples. I love this Milotic. It's a really cool Milotic. It does have the attack Aqua Swirl. One water, two colorless, 60 damage. You may have your opponent switch his or her active Pokemon with one of his or her bench. Kind of makes Vulpix kind of useless when a water type Pokemon that I already have to pretty much want to use does the exact same thing as Roar. And. Aqua Swirl does damage. Eh. Our next incomplete line is Seedra. 80 HP, water type Pokemon, only stage 1. Knockout Needle, 1 water energy, 10 damage with 2 coins. Both of them, if both of them are heads, this attack does 40 more damage. So we have a maximum output of 50 with Water Gun for 1 water, 1 color is doing a 30 possible. I don't like Seedra but we'll probably have to use it. Finally, oh sorry, not finally. We're moving on to Marsh Top. 90 HP, also stage one, no Swamper in the deck. Water type Pokemon is, I kind of guessed. Mud Slap, one water, one colorless. It's gonna do 30 damage. Endeavor, one water, two colorless, 40 damage, flip two coins. This attack does 20 more for each heads. So we have a maximum output of 80 damage. Okay. You're alright since you do do the same as Kyogre at max. I, I can take that. Now our stage 2 in the deck is Walrein, 150 HP, water type Pokemon. Knockover, which is really cool, has one water, one colorless, you may discard any stadium in play, and you're going to do 50 damage. Two water energy, 50 damage, and removal of a stadium is really good. In this format that is really good. Uh, Frozen Splash, 2 water, 2 colorless, it's going to do 70 damage, but if our opponent's active is a fighting type, 
this attack is going to do 70 more damage. We're talking about 140 damage. Now, if we're playing against a Groudon deck here, Wolverine is the mon to get. This thing will destroy that deck, hands down. Now, that is the Pokemon of the deck. We are moving on to our trainer, starting with Acrobike. Look at the top two cards of your deck, put one of them into your hand, discard the other. Kind of just going through the deck and getting what you need is always a good thing. Uh, we are given one Eva Soda, so this way we can evolve one Pokemon. But you never know, with that sparkling ripple, I do believe it says we can grab a card from our discard pile and put it back into our hand. One of the few times that Eva Soda might actually get to be used twice in a game. Beautiful. Uh, we have Fresh Water set, heal 20 damage from each of our Pokemon. This can handle one Earthquake from our uh, Whizcash. Two Professor's Letter, because I need energy, I need a lot of it, and especially with Alpha Growth and Kyogre costing a, not Alpha Growth, Whizcash, and Kyogre costing a ton of energy to get off, having the energy in my hand is definitely a good thing. We have one Switch, because unfortunately a lot of our Pokemon are kind of heavy, and I don't want them in the active spot all the time, so this helps us get them out and get in the one we do want. We do get a Professor Birch's Observation, which is, which is a stellar uh, supporter card. Shuffle your hand back into your deck, flip a coin, if heads, draw seven, if tails, draw four. Um, this card is a staple in most decks nowadays, just because you don't have to discard your cards. You just put them right back in your deck, shuffle up, and go with the Birch. You may get lucky, you may not, who knows, but that is the repercussions of using this card. Next up is teammates. Uh, teammates, if one of your Pokemon unfortunately was knocked out in the previous turn, uh, search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand. Beautiful. I guarantee you one of our fire types is about to get knocked out. And getting a teammates off is awesome. Uh, we have two tier now. Draw three cards. Simple, straightforward, no penalties, just three cards. And the baby we've been waiting for this whole time. Rough Seas makes its appearance. This helps Whizcash so much. Uh, as long as the stadium's in play, every turn we can heal our water types and electric types for 30 damage. Fire types, I can't do anything for them. Sorry, but you're gonna get knocked out. But that is our trainers. All that's left are the six fire energy and the 12 water energy that fill up this deck. That's right guys, that is Ocean's Core. We are about to get into some Pokemon TCG battles and I just can't wait to get ourselves going. Let's see what we can do. What is your prediction? Groudon! Spoilers if you haven't watched it yet, I highly recommend watching it before seeing this episode. Groudon. Got two wins, no problems, had amazing games. Can Kyogre do the same? Can Kyogre's game be even better. We're about to find out on two to three games of Pokemon TCG online. We have unsaved changes. And our first game is against Tempa Man playing a grass deck. Actually that's not very good for us. Uh, Tempa Man is gonna get this coin toss. We're losing the coin toss and we're going first. Alrighty then. Uh, no basics, sadly. So we have to mulligan away our hand. We get to redraw. Yay! And we start off with a horsey because as much as Cedra's not very good, I can at least get some damage off next turn. So. We see a Pansage and a C Dot. So we get another Horsey. We're gonna attach that water energy to Horsey and end the turn. Now he can only go for a collect to start this up. Unfortunately, Cedra is weak to grass, so we're gonna see some unfortunate events here. I definitely see it. If I could power up Spiel, this would be a different game, but uh, sadly, not the case. Now here we go, water energy on the... 
to it. Put it on the horsey. Guaranteed 30 or 10. Well, we have to evolve. Gives us 20 more HP, which is great. Oh boy. Fates Collide just came out, guys, and I haven't played since it, so I think they've re established all my settings and all that. So, bear with me when I get all those kind of weird pop up messages. I will attach the energy to Spiel, because the Ice Ball will be a way better attack. I'll go for a knockout needle. We don't get this off. We got one heads! Maybe next time we'll get two. Unfortunately, we did what we could to knock out, or to deal damage to Pan Sage, but he is just gonna get a ton of cards. Or she, my bad. Uh, that is a Simi Sage, and uh, we're going for a Torment. Weakness, 40 damage. And. We can't use Knockout Needle, most likely? What do you go for? We'll find out in a very short minute. I will power up. Let's just go for an attack. Okay, so we knocked out Knockout Needle. I will use the Fire Energy to set up Cedra. That way I can go for some damage. But he will be able to knock us out on the following turn. There's not a whole lot I can do, guys. I know I'm giving him a lot of cards. There's an evolution on the Chestnut. Or... Chestnut. Chestnut, which makes it a Quilladin. And we're gonna get Solar Beamed. We're taking we're getting taken out by a Simi Sage. Oh boy. Simi Sage knocks out Cedra. Not a problem. I haven't drawn anything other than a Kabeskin. Useless bird. Uh we're gonna go into the I might have to go into this field. Or sorry, the horsey. Attach an energy drop and hope to god to get a paralysis. Uh nope. That's going to be a knockdown horsey. I'm hoping to draw a spiel, guys. To be honest with you, there's 30 damage shield. There's no comeback. There's no comeback. We're getting taken out by a semi sage, and that would be a quick first game. Oh boy! Two more grass energy for our opponent. The lucky helmet. All the evolution lines that he could ever, or she could ever hope for. Here comes the knockout on the horsey. Was that a misplay? I don't think so. Oh look, an Acrobike! Let's see what we get. And neither of these cards are worthwhile. We'll take that one. Done. Alright. So, could have Torchic saved the day earlier? No. My maximum output is 30. I even double the damage, I still won't knock out the Simi Sage. Ice Ball! Let's do this. 20 damage, two more cards. We're in trouble. We're in a lot of trouble! He is legitimately tormenting us right now. Here comes the Solar Beam, knocked out Sveal. And Torchic is our last Pokemon. We can at least evolve. But it won't be enough, because I can't attack, because I have water energy in my hand. There goes the water energy, and ends the turn. Good game to my fellow player! There's a Doduo. He's gonna go for that solar beat. Oh, he goes for a heal, which is beautiful. I keep saying he, it's a she. It's a she. I have 10 HP left. This game's not going very well. I have all picks. I'm not going to play it. I'm not even going to play the energy. There's nothing I can do that is a game in favor of Tampa Man. Tampa Man wins this game. Hands down. Ball picks would not have saved me. Kavaskin would not have saved me. My fire types are useless, guys. I keep saying that. 100%. There goes Kavaskin. And that is game number one in the hands of Tampa Man. Wow, did we not see anything what Groudon was able to produce. We just got, hands down, one of the worst games we've had in a long time. So, we need a pick-me-up. Come on, Kyogre, we need to showcase what we can do. 
Kyogre's going in to game number two. Game number two is against Barkosopif. I'll admit, I butchered that. Alright, Kyogre, let's go for this coin toss. Here we go, we lose a coin toss. Oh boy. And we're going first! Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, we've got this field. And we got Tierno for turn one. I like this. So we can go Tierno, virtual on the following turn. We have options, guys. We have a ton of options. Alright. I'll probably drop the other field on the bench. And we see a Meowth in the active spot. So we'll drop this field, we'll drop the Vulpix, just for some uh, durability here. Maybe Vulpix will be a good sacrifice. We'll go for a Tierno here. We'll drop the Phoebus. I don't really want the Torchic, to be honest with you. Hold on to that. And I think that is going to be the turn. Our good old friend over there is going to probably use Feeling Good. Actually, he's going to use Tyranno first. Uh, Lightning Energy on the Meowth. Professor's Letter netting her two more energies. It's going to be probably Lightning Energies. There they are. Beautiful. And... Are we feeling it? Are we feeling good, mate? Yes, we're feeling good, mate. She draws a card. And it's our turn. We can go for the energy drop. The evolution. Celio is in the active spot. And I think I'm going to go for a Tierno. Alright. Nothing I really want. I am going to go for the freezing headbutt. This might be able to paralyze, which would be great. I can knock out the Meowth on the following turn. No paralysis, though. This just means they get to feel good any a little bit more as they get to draw a couple more cards. Here's another Tierno on her side, drawing three more cards as well. Dropping a Drudagon. Ooh. And a Farfetch. The Farfetch would have been deadly early. I'll admit that. Manectric is now evolved. Uh, Persian is in the active, so she can go for a Nasty Plot. Actually, she'll be going for a Shadow Claw. Flip a coin if heads. Discard a random card from our opponent's hand. As long as it's not my Birch, I'm alright with that. I don't care about any of the cards other than my Birch. Don't ditch my Birch. There we go. Torchix gone! Ah, <sighs> alright. We're gonna drop the Water Energy on Celio. And we're gonna go for a Professor's Letter, hoping to get that Wall Rain. We got seven cards, come on! No, we didn't get the Wall Rain. We did get the Rough Seas though, which is a really good stadium for us. Uh, healed off all that damage. Go for the Acro Bike. <gasps> we got the Wall Rain! We got the Wall Rain! Yes! Alright, let's go for that evolution! I'm gonna do 50 damage regardless. We have the evolution here. I can go for a knockoff. 50 damage. And I am not discarding them. No, I want my I want my stadium. It heals me up pretty good if you ask me. Drudagon's getting powered up here. I'm not too threatened by losing any of my cards at the moment. 30 damage. Does not lose a card though. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're gonna attach that water energy to Wall Rain as we go for the rough seas. Heals off that damage from the Persian. And we're gonna go for a frozen. 70 damage, takes out the Persian, beautiful play. Here's our first prize card. We are rolling now. This is way better than last game, guys. Way better. Drudagon, now, anytime we take this, uh, anytime we damage our opponent, we take 20 damage. All right, I can handle that. Great ball. Okay, let's see what you get. Be advised, she's got a Raichu now as well. I did miss that evolution in the previous turn. She gets another Drudagon here. Drudagons are very scary. But, I don't know if she can actually hit me right now. Six damage. There's the Drudagon. It's our turn. We're going to get first hit off on this guy. 
We're gonna drop. We're gonna start setting up another spiel. There we go. While Rain is gonna go for a frozen splash, 70 damage, and we'll be able to heal off those 20 damage counters on the following turn. So we're all right. And we'll be able to knock out this Drudagon next turn, so our knockout isn't gonna be too bad. Now, unfortunately, we won't be able to retreat. I'm not too threatened, I'm just gonna retreat anyway. 60 damage. I'll be healing 30 of it off right now as we go for another water retreat on the Sphere. Rough Seas, 30 damage healed, and we're gonna go for a Frozen Splash. Knock out this first Druidagon. I do know that there's another one on the bench, but it's not set up. Actually, none of her Pokemon are set up at the moment, so we are in incredible position as we get an Eva Soda. I'll be checking for that Milotic. I know I discarded one, but I don't... Uh, actually, I don't have any in here. Anyway, we're moving on. We're going to go with another Water Energy Drop onto Sphiel. Rough Seas is going to heal off our Wall Rain. And I'll go for the Eve Soda. Hmm. I'm going to go for the Celio. Done. Beautiful. Celio has now evolved, so we have an additional a big, big damage attacker in the back, just in case. And we're just gonna go with another Frozen Splash. Sure, we're gonna take 20 damage, but they cannot damage me. And uh, unfortunately, she's wasting all the energy on her big attacking Pokémon. Her walls, instead of setting up something that could be quick, get a ton of damage off and get it. I don't know. Here comes a pal pad shuffle two dis uh, two supporters back into your deck. Pal pad's okay. I still prefer VS Seeker. I can just go to my hand and then use it. Now at least she knows those two supporters are back in the deck, but eh. there's a lightning energy. Don't know why she went for that setup. I'm just gonna knock out this Drudagon. Uh, I'm gonna rough seize up. I can drop a Phoebus and start setting up a Phoebus. As I go for the Frozen Splash, we're gonna knock out this Drudagon. And that's our third prize card. Wall Rate showcasing the power it has behind it. We see the Raichu in the active position. She knows she can't set up far fetched. The other two can handle an attack. Max Revive grabs a Drudagon. Good play, good play. But I will be trying to heal off all my damage on the following turn. And we have a Combuska now. So we will be going for the heal. And the Frozen. Okay. Don't show me that again. I get to play my energy the way I want to play it. 70 damage to the Raichu. I wanted to make sure that even with a rough seize, I'll be able to knock out this Raichu no problem. Drudagon hits the bench. She probably doesn't have an energy. She didn't use the rough seize either. Ooh. I'm going to rough seize up. My Walrein is at max HP once more. I'm just going to win the game. There it is. Game handed to us, there was nothing they could do. They had no way of countering Wall Rain, especially once we hit max HP once more. So, we're currently at 1 and 1. Not as good as Groudon, I'll admit that, but that game definitely showcased what Wall Rain from this deck can do. Uh, we have yet to see a Kyogre even enter the hand, so yeah, hopefully in game 3, Kyogre makes an appearance. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. And our final game, guys, is against Neo and Voyander playing the dreaded. The dreaded. I forgot its name. It's that Gallade deck that we've seen. Mental Might is the name of it. Oh, jeez. Mental Might is the name of it. Yes. Neo and Voyander is getting this coin toss. And, uh. He's not flipping the coin. 
he has not flipped this coin. Come on, Neil and Voyender! Flip that coin, flip that coin, flip that coin. You can do it, you can do it, you have the technology. I believe in the coin that believes in, well, me, because I'm gonna win this coin flip. Anyway, sitting there on the table, it looks so shiny, there it is! I'm losing another coin flip, guys. Not my day for coin flips. Anyway, he is deciding which side he wants to go first. He is gonna play first this time, which is good for him. Uh, I start with a Sveal, and that's literally all I have. So, Sveal, you came through last game, and I gotta give it to you, you put in a ton of work. Can you do it again for me? Because I don't have anything else. I just have a bunch of energies and a switch, which I can't switch anything into it because I have no other Pokemon. Okay, he has one, one active. Maybe we won't be as bad either. I, it's a mill tank even. All right, roller skates. He's gonna flip a coin. No, no, no cards. Tierno. Well, this one will give him three cards. Three cards to his hand. Beautiful. Uh, he gets a lot of basics, a rolls, and a furfur, and a psychic energy on the mill tank. And another rolls, in fact. May have missed that last turn. Uh, we get a horsey, so we're not completely knocked out of the water here. Uh, I might go for the switch. Let's switch Horsey in. I want to save Sveal as long as I can. I can go for Bubbles and hope to get some Paralysis. I no Tails! Tails are the game today! Nothing's happening. No, uh, no Roller Skates for my opponent, no Bubbles for me. Um, hopefully I didn't just make a huge misplay. There's a Curlia. A very short turn. Miltank will be able to use Powerful Friends at a much higher cost. I don't want that to happen. No, 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 no. Roll water energy on Sveal. And we'll go for a bubble. Come on, Paralysis. Yes! Paralysis comes through! I know what Paralysis does, you silly game. Updating all of your stats. Oh, boy. Now, unless he's going to switch. Okay. At least for another turn. I can set up Sveal. Come on, Celio. I need a Celio really badly. Professor's letter. I don't even know what these look like. I haven't drawn one yet. He's drawn two more Psychic Energy. Probably going to continue setting up that Curly in the back, which is very scary because he's probably got a Gallade coming very shortly. There's the turn. He is now not paralyzed. I get another Water or Fire Energy, so I don't need that. And I'm going to go for a Bubble. We get the Bubble! Par Realized. All right, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. One more energy drop. We'll hit that Curlia though, and now he's just looking for the Gallade. And once that Gallade comes in, it's gonna probably all butt over. Roller skates. He gets it. Three more cards. Beautiful for him. Awful for us. That is a old fan club. No, 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 no. No fan club. We don't want that. No fan club. Fan Club means he gets two more basic Pokemon, which is probably another Mill Tank and a Woobat. I want to say that would be the two I'd go for. Oh, he goes double Woobat. Okay, beautiful. And he's gonna probably drop them both. There's one. Then an energy drop on one. Okay, didn't energy drop on the girl yet. I'm kind of surprised, actually. Actually, I'm very surprised. Um. He also didn't play the other Swoobat yet. Neo Envoy Ender! I don't understand what you're doing, my friend. I'm sure you have a huge strategy in your ba in the back. Uh, I keep drawing water energy, so I'm just gonna keep setting up Sveal and going for bubbles. And I saw that coming. Now he'll draw Gallade, which will mean Miltank will get powerful friends, and I'm gonna get two shot. Horsey? One. Knocked out one shot, and Sveal knocked out one shot, and that'll be game. I can pretty much see it coming now. There is the Swoobat coming out. That one energy wonder to get all sorts of stuff going on. Beautiful card. Here is the escape rope. Switches myself in for the Swoobat. So it's now Sveal versus Swoobat, and nothing for you, my friend. That's great for me. Uh, that's the wrong evolution line. 
Uh, I'm not even gonna play my energy. I don't need them. Ice ball, 20 damage. We got some damage on the field. That is what I'm talking about. All right, that is what I'm talking about. This field getting in there. Third energy drop onto Curlia. That is bad news for us. Energy gift, one heads. That means you get what? Uh, flip a coin if heads to your deck for two second energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. That's not good. Two more energy probably on the rolls. Oh no, there. One on the mill tank and the other one on the mill tank. So now it can go for hammer arm or hammer in. I apologize. I get a barboach. Uh, I can set up our boach. Our boach is good. I'm gonna do 20 more damage to this Wubat. He can retreat at any moment now and go for a knockout because both of his, well, the mill tank, I uh, can't knock me out. He can come close, but he can't knock me out. Uh, but the double slap also can't knock me out, so we're okay. Now, if he gets a Gallade, that's a different story. Gallade will knock me out, no problem. Yep, yep, yep. Oh. <sighs> Kyogre is hiding under the sea, has yet to showcase itself. Here's a hard charm on the Curlia. Oh my, it's going to be so hard to knock that thing out now. Energy drop onto the Furfro. There's a ton of energy. Gets another energy gift. That Furfro is going to be set up now. Oh boy. Oh boy. I got to say, guys, this is a scary match. Very scary. There's those energies. It's our turn, which is great. I get a fire energy, which is useless. Bravo! Water energy on Barboach. I'll have that thing fully set up before I even get a Whizcash. Ice Ball! 20 more damage! Beautiful! Sveal! Sveal MVP! Sveal MVP! Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright. Here is the uh, Hoot Hoot. Interesting. I like Hoot Hoot. I like drawing cards. This player draws two. Energy Gift. Not this time, my friend. I will be able to get this uh, Swoop Bat out of here with a Kyogre. Oh my Jesus. I've used up all my water energy and now Kyogre shows up. Well, I can still set up our boat and hope to get an evolution here. Ice Ball will knock out this Swoop Bat. Thank you. All right. Our first prize is a another Barboach. Oh boy. We see the Furfro. He's going to do 50 damage. Or Tight Jaw for Paralysis. I'd probably go with the Tight Jaw hoping to get the Paralysis so that I can't attack him on the following turn. He got a Tyranno. What is going on? Shark Fang, 50 damage. Sveal, can you hold on just a little bit more, my friend? I got a Seed I'm going to attach that to my horsey here. Attach a fire energy to it so I can water gun. And uh, I'm going to go for an ice ball. 20 damage to this fur fru. Hiya! We're in trouble. Like, we're seriously in trouble. Eva Soda. There's the Gallade. Okay, Gallade's out. He'll want to retreat here. Uh, an escape rope. Beautiful play. Beautiful play. Uh, I'm gonna go into Kyogre. Because Kyogre is not gonna do anything for me this turn. I'm, uh, going to see a powerful storm hit me for, what, 200 damage! 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. It's 20 times. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Oh! Okay, there's 10 energy on the field. We're done. We're going to be uh, seeing very bad stars very shortly. I don't see us winning this one, guys. Not anymore. No, no, no. No, no, no. I need that earthquaking beauty of a knockout. But we're going to go for the knockout needle because it's a higher damage output. And we're getting 10 damage. No damage at all because of the hard charm. We're only going to do 10 damage water guns. So not a big deal. It's not a big misplay. It's, I, I took a risk to try and get some damage off. Um, Powerful Storm is going to knock out Seedra, though. And, uh, uh... I get 10 damage with Barboach. This was not a good game. No way. Barboach comes out. 
We got a water energy! Beautiful! I'm gonna go for a rain splash. Rain splash is decreased to 10 damage. Got some damage off. We got a knockout. I can't feel bad. We got a knockout. Sveal got all the damage he needed to in this game. There's another powerful storm, and this will probably wrap us up with the Sveal knockout next turn. Because there's no way. No way I'm coming back. No way. No, he's got the ability to do 200 damage. Oh, now I get a Birch. Last turn of the game, Birch decides to make an appearance. Oh, and now I get the Whiz Cash. Grumble, 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 grumble. That's theme deck for you. Ice Ball does nothing. There's no point in setting up. I'm going to go down admirably to the Galade. 220 damage. 260 damage. I wasn't watching when I set up that rules in the back. Good game to Neo and Voyender. That was a beautiful play on your part. My deck decided not to work today. Now, with that being said, Kyogre is not a deck to just put down lightly. Um, I'll admit I had a lot of junk cards. And that's always a problem with theme deck format. The, um, I guess the highlight is Walrein is a beast. Uh, again, another great beast is Wizcash. If I could get Wizcash out, it would have been phenomenal. But unfortunately, I drew it too late. Uh, the other thing is Kyogre can do a ton of damage, but at the cost of a lot of energy. And I'm top decking a ton of cards. Like, I wasn't... I wasn't drawing anything that last game. So, would I say this one is better than Groudon? Would I say this is still an admirable theme deck? Yes, I think there is a ton of potential for this one. I didn't get to show it off, I'll admit. But, you can see what Wizcash can do with the Earthquake. Uh, Ocean's... Is it Ocean's Core? Kyogre's secondary attack is also really good. And then Walrein being able to hit fighting types for 140 damage is just absurd. Like, that is huge. It just couldn't take mental might. But, that is today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, uh, like, subscribe, and comment on the video below, especially if you liked it and had some of your own opinions. Maybe some of your uh, experiences with the deck that you could showcase with the other viewers as well. But until our next episode, time out.